the most significant difference between Almera and Logan, in addition to the exterior inspired by higher-class Nissans, is the extended wheelbase and, accordingly, more space for rear passengers. The car is built on the same successful components and assemblies. As a result, the Almera G15 did not occupy the most significant niche in the market, the morally outdated basis affected. The car was not updated for a long time, although restyling suggested itself. In 2018, it was removed from the assembly line. Despite this, Almera is liquid on the secondary market, and it is very common in taxis, which also speaks of the interest shown in the car. On cars from the first years of production, the rear window may be poorly glued. This leads to water leaks into the cabin and the appearance of all sorts of extraneous sounds, creaking, crunching, knocking. On this occasion, a recall campaign was announced. If, as a result of inspection, dealers found areas of lack of primer on the glass, it was cut off and re-glued. The gap between the radiators of the engine and the air conditioner quickly becomes clogged with dirt. It is advisable to flush the heat exchangers at least once every 60,000 kilometers. The first symptom of radiator contamination is the insufficient efficiency of the air conditioner, especially in traffic jams. Because of this, it can even turn off. For vehicles manufactured between February 2013 and October 2007, technical bullet and valid purpose of issuing to eliminate noise in the cabin, thumping, rumbling, coming from the rear right shock absorber support when the vehicle is moving on uneven roads this is not a recall campaign, work is carried out only in the event of a customer complaint and confirmation of a malfunction during a test drive. The knock is caused by the fact that the body panels that form the right support, cup, for the shock absorber strut are not thick enough, 2.5 millimeters less than on the left. This leads to incomplete pre-compression of the rubber bushings of the shock absorber during its installation. When repairing, a repair kit is installed that compensates for this constructive blunder. It consists of a support amplifier, metal plate 2 to 5 millimeters thick, and new support bushings. The lamps of the front dimensions do not last long, but changing them is not very convenient. Unlike higher-end Nissans, the optics do not suffer from obvious fogging. Another assembly flaw, on some Almers, up to 2015, the seams on the front pillars of the body are poorly welded. Under various driving conditions, they can play, creating annoying extraneous noises in the cabin, squeaks, clicks. Problem areas are located at the junctions of the vertical and inclined parts of the front pillars, approximately in the area of connection with the front panel amplifier. For additional welding, it is necessary to disassemble the front of the cabin. Works are highly valued. Anti-corrosion treatment of the body is solid. For the entire life of the model in Russia, foci of rust have not yet appeared. Even the area under the decorative trim on the trunk lid does not suffer. The quality of the paintwork corresponds to the price level of the car. The rear manual windows have a feature. To completely close the window, you need to tighten the handle to the characteristic stop, otherwise the glass may spontaneously lower, a gap of a couple of millimeters will appear. Through it, water can enter the salic and the noise level also increases markedly. The time-tested gasoline engine Renault 16K4M, 102 horsepower is one of the most reliable and unpretentious in the class, with reasonable operation it is capable of nursing up to 400,000 kilometers. Behind him there are only a couple of features and minor flaws, for example, a rather noisy operation. The most common engine malfunction is the throttle pipe gaskets dry out, even on short runs, because of this, air leaks occur and the idle speed begins to float, they also hang or spontaneously fluctuate in various driving modes. Similar symptoms appear when the inlet pipe gaskets, attachment to the cylinder head, dry out, but already on runs over 100,000 kilometers, ignition coils have a short service life, fortunately they are inexpensive. Often you have to change thermostats due to significant fluctuations in the temperature of antifreeze. According to Nissan's regulations, the timing belt must be changed every 60,000 kilometers, although for Renault cars with a similar engine, the interval will be increased to 90,000 kilometers. It is better to play it safe and follow the recommendations of the Japanese manufacturer, because when the belt breaks, the valves inevitably suffer. Lagan's legacy of the first generation is the design of the internal CV joint of the left drive with a fixed anther and an external oil seal with a bearing. This seal still leaks very often, especially in winter. However, do not rush to buy a repair kit, bearing, oil seal, boot, if there are signs of fogging. Often it stops progressing but new elements can again become snotty next winter. 
running rear shock absorbers tenacious. The need to change them rarely arises up to 100,000 kilometers. The exhaust system has two weak points. Usually, after 60,000 kilometers, the brackets for attaching the track to the body are rotten, the middle one on the resonator and the rear one on the extinguisher. It also happens that up to 100,000 kilometers it is necessary to open the resonator due to falling off internal partitions, which began to make a characteristic noise, rumbling, ringing. The only frank drawback of the suspension is the low service life of the ball bearings of the front levers. Quite often they do not even live up to 50,000 kilometers. They cannot be replaced separately, you need to buy levers in the assembly. The good thing is that their price is low. Until April 2013, two short front caliper hoses were installed on the conveyor. There is a possibility that they may break when the wheels are turned all the way at the moment of heavy unloading of the front suspension. The manufacturer quickly figured out the defect and began to install longer hoses. A characteristic drawback of cars on the VO platform is weak steering tips. Often they have to be changed after 50,000 kilometers, tie rods usually last twice as long. On Almera, as well as on the first generation Logan, power steering oil is squeezed out through the pressure sensor. Many owners plug the hole in the line under the sensor, as often the story repeats itself after replacing it. The absence of a sensor is manifested only in a noticeable drawdown in engine speed when the steering wheel is turned all the way and is held in this position for some time. It is possible for oil to leak through the low-pressure power steering line at the rolling points. The problem area is located near the tube attachment to the subframe, left. With this, possible problems with steering are exhausted. Salon Almera collected a lot of shortcomings characteristic of other models on the VO platform. Frequent and typical gross mistakes made during assembly. The wear resistance of some elements of the interior is mediocre. The steering wheel, the selector knob of the manual gearbox, as well as the trim of the driver's seat are quickly overwritten. The side bolsters suffer first of all. On Almera, as well as on Logan of the first generation, the frog under the brake pedal often burns out, the brake lights stop working. Right-hand stock failure is a common occurrence. Most often, the intermittent wiper mode stops working, its complete failure is possible. On the center console, various backlights often burn out. The leaders are the stove block and the power window keys. Fortunately, all lamps are available as separate spare parts. The noisy operation of the heater fan at the third or fourth speeds is a design feature that you will have to put up with. Obvious extraneous sounds are usually caused by debris, for example, foliage, getting into its body. Debris cannot always be blown out with compressed air, and then the fan will have to be removed, and for this it is necessary to dismantle the front panel and heater module. The unpleasant creaking of the front seats can have two sources, springs or seat belt buckle fasteners. In both cases, silicone grease helps. The springs must be lubricated at the attachment points to the frame, and it is advisable to remove the lock in order to properly process the washer, which ensures its mobility on the side of the seat. An assembly flaw that occurs in cars of the first years of production is incorrect installation of the heater block. At the same time, either the holes for draining condensate on the module and on the body, or their rubber sealing gasket, are displaced. As a result, water enters the passenger compartment and accumulates at the front passenger's feet. You will have to remove the front panel in order to center the heating unit or reinstall the gasket, but in some cases it is possible to get by with minimal gestures without disassembling the interior. Similar blunders were made by the assemblers of pre-styling dusters at the Renault Capital plant. Reduced air conditioner performance may be due to a malfunction of the pressure sensor in the system circuit. At the same time, the compressor starts to turn off periodically, especially in traffic jams in summer. The failure is not massive, but this sensor can be called a weak point. The original sensor is assembled with a fragment of the line, but there are also separate substitutes on the market. The front panel of Almera has a feature due to overheating in the sun, it can warp in the area of the windshield deflectors. With a low temperature effect, the irregularities are poorly distinguishable visually, but they are clearly palpable. With significant overheating, they are already conspicuous, but when cooled, they are again partially masked. Some of the front panel was changed under warranty. Moreover, several cases are described on the forum when a new panel also led. The 4-speed automatic of the DP2 family is an upgraded version of the long-suffering DP0-AL4 unit, a joint development of the Peugeot Citroën and Renault concerns, which has earned a bad reputation.
engineers have significantly increased the reliability of the updated box, but they could not fix all the inherent flaws. The DP machine does not tolerate high loads, especially when cold, and even minor overheating. Long-term driving on bad roads with frequent slippage significantly reduces the resource of the box, but subject to gentle operation and oil changes every 60,000 kilometers, it can live up to 200,000 kilometers. One of the characteristic sores is the short service life of the solenoids that control the pressure in the hydraulic system of the machine. Quite often they have to be changed before 100,000 kilometers. When the solenoids fail, jerks and kicks appear when shifting gears, as well as when the selector is moved from neutral to drive or reverse. When the first symptoms appear, it is important not to delay the visit to the service so that this malfunction does not pull other breakdowns. Usually both solenoids are changed at once, so as not to pay for the work again. The DP machine is characterized by a modest potential of the cooling system. At high loads and overheating, clutch packs burn out first. Major repairs are very expensive, 80,000 to 100,000 rubles. The five-speed manual transmission of the JH3 series is reliable and has no characteristic source. If descendants occur, it is usually due to inadequate exploitation. To extend the service life, servicemen advise adhering to the old service regulations, which prescribe oil changes every 90,000 kilometers. Cars and all modifications sell well, but the preponderance still belongs to versions with a manual gearbox, young Almers, under the age of two or three years, do not lose value very quickly, like most classmates, but then there is a sharp drop. Obsolete car which is more significant than a more recent year of manufacture. There are a lot of taxi Almers on the secondary market, and their owners often save on maintenance. Therefore, the history of cars must be checked carefully and pay attention to secondary signs, looking for taxi-specific ones. In addition to the characteristic wear of interior elements, seat trim, steering wheel and gear knob, which manifests itself even under covers, the checkered past gives out, for example, the state of the body which has been covered with the film for a long time. It is also not uncommon to find a ridiculous blunder in a beautiful legend about the past of the car, marks about a color change in the TCP, due to the film. Nissan Almera 3, G15, B-Class Sedan, Front Wheel Drive. Mechanics and Automatic. Gasoline engines with a capacity of 102 horsepower. Nissan Bluebird Sylphie is a compact car of the Japanese company Nissan, created on the MS platform produced with front and all-wheel drive. Nissan Bluebird Silphy sedans can be called the flagships of the C-segment in the Nissan lineup for the domestic Japanese market. On the same MS platform, a number of Nissan cars were built for foreign and domestic markets, Sunny, Almera, Sentra, Almera Tino, Wing Road, AD. First generation. G10 model. Cars produced from 2000 to 2005 with QG15 DE. QG18DE and QR20DD engines. The body design, called the Dolphin Body by the authors, is a variation on the theme of bio design popular in the 1990s. The interior is finished in beige, matched with wood effect panels and titanium coated fittings. Rounded roof lines provide headroom in the front seats. Some cars were equipped with climate control, option, the factory provides for four speakers, a leather steering wheel with adjustment in two positions, option, the ability to automatically fold the outside rear-view mirrors is also an option. A rear-view camera was offered as an option. The engine installed on the machine with a working volume of 1.8 liters is certified as a three-star engine, but a number of cars were also produced according to the five-star group, in terms of safety of the content of harmful substances and exhaust gases, as well as low fuel consumption. In addition, there is a modification equipped with a 1.5-liter QG15DE. 105 horsepower, as well as a 2-liter QR20DD Neo D direct fuel injection system engine. The last power unit is paired with a variator with a manual shift mode for six preset gear ratios. For a model with a 1.8-liter QG18DE 115 horsepower engine, an all-wheel drive option is provided. The Nissan Bluebird Sylphie in the G10 body was produced with both automatic and manual transmissions. The front wheel brakes are disc brakes, the rear wheels are drum brakes. On all modifications of cars of this group installation of ABS is provided. The second generation of the car has been produced since 2006 and is equipped with engines of 1.5 to 2.0 liters and four automatic transmissions or a CVT. 
The following engine slash transmission combinations are available. 1.5L plus 4 automatic transmission, modification, 15S, 2L plus CBT, 20S, 20M, 20G, 1.5L plus 4 automatic transmission plus 4 wheel drive, 15M4, 5 options in total. The new modification is available in four colors, pale sapphire black, diamond silver metallic, amethyst gray pale metallic and white pale pearl. The doors, switches and steering wheel are finished in aluminum. The interior of the car is dominated by black. The radiator grille is dark gray, the front fog lights are built into the bumper, and the glazing protects from ultraviolet radiation. In addition, the car received 15-inch wheel covers. Armchairs are now sheathed with a material saturated with amino acids, Hadassara technology. In addition, the intelligent air conditioning system is now equipped with an even more effective filter that traps allergens. As an option, it is possible to equip the car with a new rear spoiler. The 1.5-liter car models were produced in both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, while the 2.0-liter modifications were only front-wheel drive. At the end of 2012, the production of Nissan Bluebird Silphy, with the simplified interior and modified rear optics, under the name Nissan Almera, began at the facilities of Apto BAZ in Taliati.